I'm excellent today. Really? That's great. Why? You're not gonna believe it. I just won a free weekend at the High Rise Hotel downtown. Wow, Dawi, great. How did this happen? I got an email saying that I won the free weekend. All what I have to do is to send them my credit card information. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you give them your credit card information? No, not yet. But they would use it only for incidental. And how did you enter this contest? What contest? I don't know. You tell me. Did you enter a contest? I'm not sure I understand. Who is giving you this free weekend at the hotel? The High Rise Hotel. Have you ever been to the High Rise Hotel? No. So how did they get your contact information? I'll show you the email. I'm sorry, Dobby. This is a scam. Scams are when people try to trick you so that they can steal your money or personal information. They can make it look like they are selling something or giving you money. They contact you through phone calls, text messages, or emails. For example, unexpected winnings is a common type of scam. These scams may also tell you you are eligible for other types of payment, like a state unemployment check you were never eligible for and never applied for. Or fake charities where someone pretends to represent a charity and asks for money. If you ever want to donate to a charity, make sure it's a real charity first. Or sight unseen job offers where someone pretends to be a hiring manager at a company and offers you a job that you have never formally applied to or interviewed for. Or back out taxes where someone pretends to represent the IRS and threatens arrest or deportation until the fee is paid. The IRS is a real US organization. So these emails may be confusing. If you are unsure whether something is a scam, you can always report it to your case manager. It's important to never give your bank information or any other personally identifying information. Personally identifying information includes information such as your full name, home address, date of birth, social security number, or bank account information. If you send this information to cyber criminals, they can take all the money out of your bank account and steal your identity, which they can then use to open up other bank accounts in your name. That's terrible. Thank goodness I didn't give my credit card information to these cyber criminals. Alicia, what are other signs of scam? Look for informal tone, lots of spelling and grammar mistakes, requests for money or a prepaid card, and never click on one of those links in one of those emails. If I'm not sure if it is a scam or not, can I schedule a meeting so that we can look at it together? Of course. Great. And now, if you'll excuse me, I need to call my wife and tell her we are not going to spend the weekend at the high-rise hotel. 